Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to the daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about LCX as well as Hedera Hashgraph. And uh, yeah, we got some exciting things to really kind of talk about. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We did have a fairly solid weekly slash monthly candle close on HBAR. It was actually the highest monthly close that we've ever had on HBAR, which was fairly bullish. Overall, the, the monthly candle close on Bitcoin wasn't too crazy. It was pretty much just around the, the pinpoint that we have been around uh, pretty much this entire month, which is around the 61.5K zone. Now, we did get a little bit of a drop in price as expected. I told you guys yesterday, you know, we could see some volatile price action with, you know, some major drops after the candle close, which as you guys do see here, it was around 61.7K. We had that nice little jump in price. Um, and then after that is where we do see the volatile price action kick in, where we do see that major drop in price, which was, like I said, down to about 59.7K. And now we're back up into about the $60,000 range, ranging at around the 60.5K zone. Now, <clears throat> what I'm fairly excited about is this marching into November, as you guys already see back here on the chart pretty much see throughout October it was fairly bullish it wasn't too crazy but you know once we got into November that's when the real price action actually started to happen so expect the bullish sediment point for Bitcoin to really kind of start in November that's where I also think a lot of altcoins will begin their rallies in fact I also think that HBAR or Hedera Hashgraph if you will um, is going to pro probably start its nice rally within that November, December time frame. I think that it's going to follow the same so, uh, cycle pattern as most OG um, assets like the old laggards. Uh, that goes all the way back to XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, all of those other assets as well. Um, on the all-time chart, you know, we don't have 2017, 2018 since this came out in 2019. So this is going to be HBAR's first bull run. So we don't know what to really expect in terms of price action. I do want to address the fact that first off, right off the bat, I do think that we will achieve a $50 billion market cap this bull run. Just to give you guys an insight on where that would be in terms of price action. Um, I think $50 billion is pretty much a minimum target for me, but that would bring us to about $3.33. I think that that is inevitable this bull run. That's just my overall standpoint on that. Uh, right now, technically speaking, we should have a, you know, a market cap of around Shiba Inus, which would bring us to about $2.63. Again, I think that that is inevitable. I think HBAR is going to have that major breakout point very, very soon. LCX is also one of those gems that I've always talked about and discussed alongside of HBAR. And right now, we are seeing a solid dip on it. Um, in the last, I would say, in the last one month, we first off hit a new all time high up here at about 34 cents. And now we are retesting that major support zone at around the 25 centile range. Uh, well, I should say we already retested it, but we bounced off of it multiple times, retested it twice already. Um, we tested it back here as well. Um, but right now we are ranging on the 26 centile zone and at a 187, almost $188 million market cap. It's very, very undervalued. Uh, the holders tab, this has been rising significantly, of course, with the you know Coinbase listing. So this was inevitable as well. And when we're talking about this, we are still very early. There's only 10,000 or so uh, holders right now. And the trading volume is extremely low at about 4.5 million. So with that being said, before we fully jump into this video, I just want to let you guys know, if you do want to get more insights like my exit strategies, all that kind of stuff, you guys can do so on my website and cashofficial.com. I also have this full Ultimate Crusader Trading Bundle Pack, which includes all future products for free and all products on the site at this price here. So this is a fairly good value pack in my opinion. Um, it is totally up to you guys if you want to purchase that. You guys are not obligated to, but let's jump in to the juicy content with LCX first. So. As you guys already know, I've been talking about LCX since it was around the three to four centile range. And we have been making some extremely good leeway throughout the market and getting onto some solid exchanges. But with that, we also talk about the technology and the use cases behind it. In fact, here we go. LCX with uh, Parity Technology CEO Gavin Wood. It will provide guidance and support to LCX for implementation and establishment of new standard for security tokens and tokenized digital assets. Organizations using their tech is Coinbase, Google, uh, Etherscan, and Microsoft. Now, with this, I've always said that tokenization within a lot of these markets could be anything. In fact, I think that the real estate game is going to be tokenized at some point in time. I think NFTs coming to that space is very strong, and I think that that is a huge use case. But we also talk about security token issuance. 
that is a huge um, use case in itself because that is a billion dollar plus market and I do think that that will grow to be a trillion dollar market as we do much forward on in time talking about web 3.0 and all that sort of decentralization aspect of things um, but LCX being the exchange that it is as well as uh, you know all the other use cases involved has a ton of potential within that space and here we go uh, here is parity is a global team of top distributed systems engineers cryptographers solutions architects and researchers building core blockchain infrastructure for the foundation of web 3.0 and polka dot and i just want to address the idea of foundation of web 3.0 i've discussed web 3.0 a lot on this channel you know it being a 140 trillion dollar market at scale i think that that is huge we're, we're talking about decentralized you know social media we also talk about decentralized you know mass markets and industries around the world i think decentralization is a huge key step for really kind of taking the power away from centralized entities and giving it back to the people people which i of course 100 percent support and i do think when we're talking about these markets and these assets like lcx they're going to grow extremely well uh once we do march forward on into web 3.0 now as you see here we go all the way back to september 1st uh, LCX is looking to establish a new standard for security tokens and tokenized digital assets on Polkadot with guidance from Parity Technologies. Uh, they are talking about a, a decentralized exchange aggregator called Fire Salamander. Furthermore, LCX has developed its own proprietary blockchain protocol to deliver a future token standard for security tokens uh, called, called the Liechtenstein Protocol, which I hope that I'm saying that right. I'm probably butchering it, but it is what it is. Now we do look here, some of the organizations using our tech. We do see Google, Coinbase, Etherscan, Kraken as well. My Crypto, Microsoft, there's a huge bunch of names on this and i think that this is great to see as well and of course we do see ceo and founder and cwo and founder uh which we've already discussed in the past but still huge innovations happening and we also see our crypto space is evolving with nft gaming as next big thing down the line lcx with animoca brands global leader in blockchain gaming and ceo is advisor of lcx blockchain nft gaming is present already and lcx is a no-brainer to be part of its upcoming nft games token listing now also animoca brands is partnered with uh, Hedera Hashgraph, as you guys already know, and they're building incredible things in the NFT zone. And here we have that nice partnership and pretty much what they're going to be focusing on. And of course, here's Animoca Brands raises $65 million at a $2.2 billion valuation from Ubisoft, uh, Sakura China, Dragonfly, Capital Markets, and others. Huge innovation here. The advisory board of LCX includes leading experts Don Tapscott, author of Blockchain Revolution, Jimmy Wales, founder of Wikipedia, Yasu, Animoca Brands, and others. Then, of course, we have the Animoca Brands partnership here, uh, which, again, is a huge innovation, especially talking about NFTs and even, you know, the gaming scene. They're focused on esports and all that kind of stuff, which is a growing uh, market in itself. Now we also see here, let's keep something very important in mind. Coinbase lists to LCX $177 million market cap before listing BNB $81 billion market cap, third largest coin, first CX coin slash token listing. I think Coinbase knows something about LCX that we don't. And it isn't the idea that, hey, it's just another exchange token or this, that, whatever the case may be. In fact, if we're looking here and we go back to July 19th, talking about the partnership with Hedera, they're de developing an infrastructure for digital securities. Now, I know to a lot of people, this might not seem like, you know, too much. I've already talked about this multiple times, actually, on this channel. I've already read this multiple times as well. But we talk about the digital security space and how that's going to grow in the future. We already know that digitization in these markets are going to expand largely. In payments, you know, we're talking about $6.7 trillion in just payments alone by 2023. Okay, so that's two years away. Now, just think about how large the digital security space is going to be when you're going to be able to tokenize and trade those in itself. And of course, this is going to be through the partnership with LCX. So if we're talking about, you know, Hedera being huge at some point in time, we also have to talk about, you know, LCX being as big as, you know, a lot of these other assets within this space. I'm not saying that's going to be as big as HBAR because HBAR in itself is doing incredible things. But we talk about this being an important milestone in our efforts to digitize traditional processes and help spur innovation in this critical industry segment for the decades to come. And I just want to, you know, make a key note here, decades to come. 
So this is going to be a long-term partnership. This is going to prosper us into the digitization zone. I've always discussed why digitization is such a huge aspect to pay attention to because we are finally marching into that time period where we are getting into the juiciness of decentralized, you know, decentralization through all these major markets in terms of finance, these markets that are building into the decentralized economy. And when we're talking about, you know, HBAR, we already know that it's going to be the heart and soul of this, but we also talk about assets like LCX that are going to empower a lot of the use cases behind it as well. So I'm very excited for this. We also see here, you know, HBAR fixes this. We're talking about HBAR now uh, because we do see here it's 2021 and Ethereum fees are still over a hundred dollars a transaction. That's insanity. And again, when we're talking about all of these other assets I'm talking about, Web 3.0 is not going to be driven by Ethereum or anything like that. No, I personally think that Web 3.0 is going to be built with something like Hedera Hashgraph. I've always discussed this because of the efficiency standpoint and of course what HBAR and Hedera in a, as a whole team is actually building and focused on right now, which if you read their mission statement, it's a huge use case. Now, we also see here, and this this actually made me laugh because I seen it the other day, but we just hear the name of the company is Meta. It's a cutting edge high tech web 3.0 company with no data and consumer exploitation issues whatsoever, currently trading at a deep discount for a fair value. Now, of course, this is pretty much a joke in, in, in itself. It's talking about how, you know, Facebook renamed itself Meta and there's talking about there's no consumer exploitation, which we already know that that's the, the big key here. But we're talking about Web 3.0 here. And when we're talking about decentralized, you know, social media, that also defeats the idea of these corporate companies selling information. And that's why I think the data driver behind Hedera Hashgraph protecting a lot of individuals' data, you know, secure the security aspects behind HBAR being ABFT compliant or consensus in, in general, I think that that is the big key focus here because they're going to allow for a lot of people to be more so comfortable sharing a lot more information um, without having the, the idea of, hey, is, is my information going to be sold or anything like that? I think that Web 3.0 in terms of decentralization is such a huge value aspect because it is going to allow a lot of that power to be in your hands instead of, you know, companies like Facebook and so forth. But I also talk about this because I say, you know, the name of the company is Hedera Hashgraph. It's a cutting edge, high tech Web 3.0 company that is going to disrupt many markets. It's going to pretty much be at a massive value. It's going to deliver an in insane ROI because when we're talking about the future, I honestly see HBAR easily at a $1 trillion market cap. And when we're talking about a $1 trillion market cap, you know, a lot of people ask me, but when do you see that? When, when do you see HBAR or Hedera, you know, safe or so, there's 30 billion, right, in circulating supply at that point, which is another 50%, which is unlogical, but still, I'll, I'll just give you guys the benefit of the doubt. We'll be at $33. When do I see this? Well, I see this by 2025 with how much innovation and, you know, I would say with how much the Hedera team is actually offering and prospering ahead of what they've actually scheduled to do, as well as the foundation, you know, implementation of the $5 billion plus, you know, foundation grant fund. I think that that is huge, right? So realistically speaking, when we're talking about Hedera, I think by 2025, this space is going to look extremely different. I think a lot of the, the coins that are in the top 10 are going to change astronomically. And I think that when we're talking about the reshaping of this market, it's going to be reshaped around these utility grade tokens that have a ton of potential to disrupt massive markets that are trillion dollar plus markets, which we already know that HBAR is doing so right now. We already know that the governing council is worth over $2.5 trillion in itself. HBAR being worth, you know, around, I, I, I forgot what it is, right? It's, I think it's like $5 billion or something like that. Yeah, it's like $5.9 billion. You know, that's a joke in itself. Like, it's, it's honestly laughable that it's worth that much with how much innovation they are doing. And when we're talking about the top 10 coins alone, there's, you know, there's a few good assets. And when I say a few good assets, I mean like XRP, you know, Polkadot's not too bad. Solana is okay. But for the most part, a lot of these top 10 coins and a lot of even the top 25 coins are kind of a joke. You know, I, I, I think that this market, once people realize what true utility looks like and what the power behind it is and the potential that an asset like Hedera could actually offer, I think that that's where this entire market gets reshaped and the value truly gets unlocked. So with that being said, just to wrap it up and uh, pretty much, you know, summarize everything, LCX is a strong asset still. They're in innovating at a rapid pace. They're working with some of the largest names in the game. 
Again, when we're talking about these major Coinbase listings for some of these assets, yeah, you get the cheap buy-ins you know, throughout the week, which I, I, I always said, if you guys are looking to buy LCX, wait a little bit after the Coinbase listing because that's where that volatile price action happens. And if we go back to the one month span, we can see that volatile price action is set, setting in. We'll most likely bottom around this point of about 25 cents to the point where we are now, which is around the 27 centile range. You could wait for a major support zone being retested, which is that 24 cents, but we practically already retested that on the 24 hour going down to 22 cents. So uh, realistically speaking, wait for a nice little juicy buy point, get into it audit it because right now at a 183 and a half million dollar market cap this is extremely undervalued for what they are doing and when we're talking about you know securitization or tokenization of securities and even you know that nice transfer of securities which we haven't seen at all in the past that's a massive use case they're doing incredibly incredible things in the DeFi space uh, massive partnerships with Q&T HBAR and many others so this is a no-brainer move. I've always been talking about this for a fairly long time. I'm not trying to show you guys on this project. I'm just trying to give you guys the insights. Now, also, just to wrap up HBAR, I think HBAR is doing incredibly well still. Uh, there's no real main focus point on things just yet. I think when we're talking about what they are doing, this is the, the gist of it, right? There will be a step function where enterprises go to market. They demonstrate the value of public DLT for their businesses or business purposes and their use cases, and it's going to shock the market. I've always been obsessed with this saying. It's so seductive right H bar and this is the the main point that I'm always trying to make it's the idea that when we're talking about what Hedera themselves is building when we talk about the CEO and the co-founders and you know even you know Lehman right Lehman's Lehman loves talking about H bar because he knows the ins and outs of this market and the real big flaws of this market and he knows that H bar is solving pretty much every problem that has been around for blockchain POS and even proof of work um, assets in the space so when we're talking about this, this is the end game. HBAR, at the end of the day, will be a $1 trillion plus asset. And I honestly think that at some point in time, we will be worth $10 trillion at some point in time. And you might be wondering, well, man, when do we get there? Well, I, I honestly see that within the next 10 years, uh, to be completely honest with you, because I think when we're talking about, you know, the crypto market cap peaking at about $2.5 trillion right now, uh, almost 2.6 in the future, this is going to be a $20 trillion plus market. And in 10 years, we'll most likely see, you know, a $100 trillion plus market especially at scale with web 3.0 coming and the power that these crypto assets could really kind of achieve which we already see governments trying to get on board with it because they see the potential behind it as well and if you guys are new to this crypto space you should definitely do your own research and understand the potential behind crypto because it is endless and it is massive so with that being said i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always i hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are just beautiful with this Nick. Peace out, guys.